another Lifetime movie. Hell yeah. Again, a reunion, One Tree Hill reunion. Yeah, I only like a small group of people, and so I'm just gonna <laughs> continue to recycle my friendships until I've exhausted them. Well, I was gonna say, do you have input? Yeah. Or is it the casting directors that are like, let's make magic? No, we didn't even have a casting director on this one. What's so great about Lifetime is yeah. that they really walk the walk when it comes to empowering women. And mm. so from conception, mm -hmm. through the writing of the script, through the directors, you know, they, they give women power at every turn. And so given the success of the movie that Tyler and I did for them like five, six years ago, and then the one we did last year as a One Tree Hill reunion, they've really been supportive of just like, you guys go have fun, make it look good on camera, and have a great time. What a dream. Yeah, it really is. And in this one, so you have Tyler. You have yeah. Tyler's wife, Megan, in My this My sweetheart. One. Yes. I love Megan. Yeah, I do too. Um, Lee is yes, in this one. Yes, Lee Norris. Antoine's in this one. Of course. So Colin like, Ficus is also oh, yeah. in this one. He was Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy, Jimmy Edwards. How is it when you guys all get together? I mean, are you rowdy? Is yeah. it hard to get through the yeah. lines? Well, no, it's not hard to get through the lines because everyone's very professional. Mm. The second that we stop to turn around, that we're obsessed with each other. And, yeah. Um, it's probably exhausting for anyone that's new to us. I love what you said about Lifetime being a place where females can really feel empowered. And I yeah. feel like you've sort of embodied that role over your career, like you've really come into that. Is that intentional or how do you feel like that happened? No, I'm just like an angry lady most of the time. No. <laughs> uh, I have always wanted to produce, mm. I've always wanted to direct, and mm -hmm. I've always wanted to create. And so you start off by being an actor and learning the ropes and watching. And Lifetime has been really wonderful about letting me grow in that position. So we're in talks to direct in 2020, which is really cool. A Christmas holiday movie? Yeah. Yeah. Will you bring the cast together again? Oh, I'm gonna for bring that? all sorts of creeps in that yeah. I'm friends with. Yeah, no. The key is, um, you know, I know how I entered into the Christmas world, and it was on a dare from my friends Paul and Julie Rudd. I got an offer for Wait, a Christmas. Paul Rudd dared you? Yeah, he and his wife Julie. Julie's obsessed with Christmas movies, and she's one of my very best friends. We own the candy store in Rhinebeck, New York, together, yeah. and. We were at dinner and I got an offer and I was like, this is ridiculous. There's just no way I'm gonna do this. Is this the elf? Yeah. yeah this is the elf. I'm an edgy girl. This might be the real naughty or nice list. Who would expect to put me in an elf costume? Uh, <laughs> clearly but someone did. But you do did. it well, yeah. Someone did and so they dared me to do it and I really loved the genre as a mother, as someone who like can only make a three week time commitment to go do a shoot, you know? And the, sure. the subject matter is like fun and easy and not com compromising. No one's asking me to do anything weird. Yeah. Um, and so I really have found kind of this feminist uh, niche, if you will, mm -hmm. with the Christmas movies. They're great, they're really great. Yeah. What do you play in this movie? So in this movie, it's fun because I get to play an art teacher. I've been doing a lot of work in the last uh, the last couple years with my high school back home in Virginia. It's a Title I high school, oh, yes. and they don't have funding for any extracurricular activities. And so we, as an alumni group, started a group called Project Patriot, and we're funding extracurricular activities at Parkview High School, Sterling, Virginia. And so this movie really hit home. That's what happens when you work with your friends. Yeah. It all of a sudden becomes more than just okay, we're gonna make a movie. It's so much more fun yeah. to work that way. When are you and Paul Rudd doing a movie? <laughs> no, that's so funny. <laughs> that's so funny, because Paul's talked about directing a Christmas movie, and yeah, I mean, we, that's what we talk about. Yeah. What hour are we? His wife, Julie, has written one, so it's just a matter of time before that we throw that out there. Yeah. Watch out. I do have to say congratulations. Officially a missus. Oh, hey, thanks. How was yeah. the wedding? How'd you keep it a secret, by the way? I have good friends. You do? Yeah, I have good friends. It was small. Okay. You know, it was very small, very intimate. Um, Jeff happened to be in town for New York Comic Con, and <laughs> why not? And that's just how it Yeah, he had to do a panel that morning, and then we got married. <laughs> Things are, yeah, when you do it 10 years later, yeah. you're not as precious necessarily about it. And it was perfect. It was perfect. Yeah. You had Norman Reedus? Officiate? Did I no, that right? it, Norman did a reading for oh, us. Oh, he did a reading. And Jensen okay. officiated. Jensen's the one who, Jensen Ackles introduced us, so it was fitting that oh. it was his big idea in the first place. So. Oh my gosh. And you had a lot of the One Tree Hill peeps there Bethany, Sophia. I do think people love your friendship with both of those women so much. We went through a lot together. Yeah. And I appreciate them 
as now that we're adult women, like I really appreciate what they stand for and what they fight for, and I will fight alongside them for anything. You guys are real crusaders in this industry. We're, yeah, we're, we're hyper. We're down to fight. Mm. We all want to just learn as much as we can and be of service. Yeah. Do you ever see yourself reuniting with them? Oh, yeah. On a project, you guys talk for about sure. that? For sure. What, when could that happen? I don't know, give me some money. Yeah. Money! <laughs> like somebody give me some money. Li the lifetime reps are here. Yeah, fantastic. Lifetime, can I have some money? Yeah, no, there absolutely will be opportunities in the future for us to work together. Yeah, Sophia and I have birthdays that are very close together, and this yeah. year for our birthdays, we were like, let's make this our year. Is this the year? Well, could Great. you guys write something together and then star in it, and then you can direct it and yeah. produce it? And then it. you can cover it. And, and I'll be great. exclusive. It's an Entertainment Tonight exclusive Fantastic. on the set. We're going to make this Great. happen. Great. Yeah, I just, you know, people love seeing you guys. Thanks. So. We were lucky to find each other when we were so young. Yeah. I know you guys have said no to a One Tree Hill reboot. Is that yeah. still the case? Um, yeah, I mean, everyone knows what went down on One Tree Hill now. Yep. And there's no making any bones about it. And so I'm not going to line anybody's pockets that was abusive. Uh, no, and so that is, that was the catalyst for us doing these Christmas reunion movies. I would have missed out on a lot if my sister hadn't drafted that contract. I wouldn't have gotten to know you. It's the chemistry between the actors is there, and now we get to switch up roles. I really want to do a buddy cop one with Antoine. I think we would be really effective law enforcement together. I, and very funny together yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. He's my sweetheart. So yeah, I mean, I I love working with my friends, mm -hmm. and it doesn't have to be one set story or another. We can continue to expand and create and have a good time. We talked a little bit about Jeff, but you guys have been together for 10 years and when you posted about the wedding, you sort of dispelled all these rumors, <laughs> like people thought we were married years ago and how frustrating is that? No, it's not, it's you not, know. You say you're married so the people stop asking when you're gonna get married because everybody wants to be involved and yeah. nosy about it. I had never been married before and so it was always just, you see your own Wikipedia page and you're like, Cool, who wrote yeah. that? What is the secret after 10 years? Is there one? I think finding someone you could be your best and worst with is mm. important. Yeah, you're gonna change a lot over 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, mm -hmm. and so it's a choice. Mm. You know, you make the choice to say, all right, well, I like you now, I'm gonna choose to like you in 10 years, and I lucked out because I met someone who's capable of a lot of growth and yeah. is very, very much a good dad and partner. I love that. Thanks. Are the kiddos? Wanting to follow in their parents' footsteps. Uh, Gus is a Gus is a horror movie director. Wow! Like already. Wait, <laughs> he's, really? Yeah, he's very serious about it. He's nine. Gus is nine. Nine. And he has been directing like stop motion movies. And he, my brother, works on Silicon Valley at HBO yeah. and sent Gus like a storyboard book and like blank storyboard pages and Gus has filled them out like meticulously. I think for sure mm -hmm. we'll be involved in the industry. And like George is a tornado. Yeah. So who How knows? old is George? Two? She's a year and a half. She's, She's like grown up on sets and stuff. Yeah. Um, is that scary for you? Knowing what you went through? No, because it's gonna be different. Yeah. Like she's my me too baby. When she was born, she came in like fang, she, like her teeth came in fang first. Yeah. And so she looked like a vampire for a while. And Wait, I was like, really no cute. one's gonna mess with this person. She's terrifying. Yeah. She says no. She says and no. And means it. Is she talking a lot now? Yeah, yeah. She's very chatty, but if you say, will you, you know, give mama a kiss? Yeah. No. And I'm good with it. Are you? Yeah, she's got boundaries. Yeah. Will you let them watch your holiday movies? Yeah, they watch the Christmas movies. I don't let, they won't watch One Tree Hill. No. That's, I was never allowed to watch stuff like that growing up. I guess every once in a while we'll see some Walking Dead. And that's, a, that's a that's conversation. Like yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, there's Uncle Norm yeah. and Dad. It's great. Why should people tune in and watch this holiday movie besides the epic reunion? Well, I think people should tune in and watch Lifetime movies in general because mm -hmm. in that genre, mm -hmm. There hasn't been a lot of diversity, and right. there hasn't been a lot of inclusion, and Lifetime has been really wonderful about breaking a lot of those barriers. They're being really progressive mm -hmm. about the storylines that we're doing, and in our movie in particular, I was clear that I wanted there to be representation for the LGBT community, and they said, yes, absolutely, of course, whatever you want. It's crazy, it's almost 2020, and there's still The fact not that that conversation even needs to happen yeah. is really dumb. Mm -hmm. um, it's not a plot point in the movie. Movie. It's just a fact of life 
And as it should be, as it is. Well, yes, and it's not everywhere, which yeah. is silly. So I respect how progressive and inclusive Lifetime is, and I love working with them for that reason. Mm -hmm. They are open-minded and aggressive in their quest to make content that's for everyone.